Hey there guys, I just finished up editing this video and I realized I didn't film an intro or an outro, so you're getting my very cute, not made up pajama editing look right now. But this week I did a fun little like challenge where I did outfits that were inspired by my favorite musicians for a week and it was really, really fun. I really enjoyed copying the styles of people who I admire like musically and stylistically if that's how you word that. But yeah, so I hope that you enjoy this video. Uh, if you do, remember to subscribe and like it and comment down below what you liked, all that fun stuff. Um, you'll see this, this look back at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. So for the first look, I decided to go for Luke Hemmings, the lead singer from Five Seconds of Summer, which I have been a huge fan of for forever. So their new style is really cool. Uh, this t-shirt is not their new style. This is their very old style. So I went with a plain white t-shirt and some black jeans, a real true classic to the Luke Hemmings wardrobe. And once I had those on, I went ahead and threw on some socks and my black Converse. I didn't have any black boots that look like the black boots that Luke always wears, so these Converse are just what I had to deal with. And I also went for a leather jacket because that is another staple to the five seconds of summer look. So for makeup, I started with this aloe vera gel that I use as primer and then just some concealer. I use the e.l.f. concealer. Then I use the Milk Makeup Blur and Set, I believe it is, powder, foundation. Um, I just got this and I really, really like it, so 10 out of 10 would recommend. Then I went in with some eyeshadow, eyeshadow potion. And then I went with my Naked Urban Decay um, Smoky Eye Palette and did like some of the gold tones because Luke does a gold eye a lot. And then I went in just with some smudged black liner and some of this Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara and just chapstick to kind of like, he has really luscious lips, can't relate. But I did some brow gel to set and then this surf spray because Luke always has the wet look hair, which luckily I had just taken a shower, so it was perfect. And that is the, the final look for Luke Hemmings. I also picked up this guitar because I'm punk rock. <laughs> wow. So for the next look, I decided to go for Lord, who is another one of my absolute favorite artists. And she has this really iconic look where she wears like a white suit on stage. So I wanted to mimic that as best I could. So I got these white Everlane slim cut jeans and I paired them with a Everlane black t-shirt, just pretty plain. Um, and then I paired it with my white Adidas's because Lord wears Adidas's on stage a lot. When I saw her in New York, she kicked off one of her Adidas's during the encore. It was great. And then I paired it with this white blazer and I had never worn like an all white outfit before. And like, oh my God, I felt so cool when I was wearing this. I'm not going to lie. I got so many compliments on this outfit. Out of all the outfits in this video, this one got the most compliments. So for makeup, I went in again with the aloe as primer. And then I went in with some of the Maybelline BB cream and I wet my beauty blender with some Mario Badescu spray, which I know it's like bad or whatever, but okay. I use this e.l.f. concealer on blemishes and my dark, dark under eye circles because grad school is hell. And then I set it all with my milk powder again and going in with some eyeshadow primer before doing a really dramatic black wing, which I feel like is just like a staple of Lord's look. And then I went in with Two types of mascara, I used the Benefit Bad Gal Bang again, and I also went in with the Sephora Lash Craft, which I love for volume. Uh, for my brows, I did a pencil from e.l.f., and then I did the MAC Gel, and then I just set it with some Anastasia Beverly Hills stuff, highlighted with Urban Decay's Sin, and then also um, went in with Tarte's Blush, added this MAC lipstick, and I was ready to dance like a weirdo. I, I really love this outfit. I felt really, really good in this the whole day. I did end up taking the lipstick off before I taught because I felt like it was a bit vampy for early September. For the next look, I decided to do Lesbian Jesus, Haley Kiyoko, a true legend. So she is someone that I think her style is like so cool. 
So she does this look a lot that is like jeans, a cute bralette, and then like kind of like a Hawaiian shirt. Um, so put all of that together and I really like this outfit. I did end up, end up buttoning it more before I went out in public, but for makeup, I kept it simple again. Honestly, I had less makeup on for this than I did for the Luke Hemmings look, which I think is funny. But I started out with, again, aloe vera gel, concealer, powder, basics. Uh, I went in with my eyebrow pencil, did a little bit of shaping, and then used my MAC gel again, and a little bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills, light mascara, and some cherry chapstick, and I was ready to go. I put on some Adidas, and I was ready to be a lesbian icon. I mean, look at me go. I can't dance, but I sure am trying, you know? And I think that at the end of the day, that's not what matters, and I probably should have just, like, posed and not danced, but, you know, be like that. <sighs> Why me? So, Perry Edwards. I've been dressing like Perry Edwards since I was 17 years old, so this was a no-brainer to include in this video. I really love her style. It changes over time, but she's always got this kind of like hippie -y edge to it. So, to mimic one of her outfits, I decided to go for these wide-legged pants and this vintage-inspired t-shirt that's from American Eagle. I threw it on, ready to go. Um, I started with milk makeup primer, and then I threw on this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea glow oil serum stuff, and then some BB cream again, and and blended it with Mario Badescu and my beauty blender. Um, of course, next I did again the concealer and then my blur and set foundation brush stuff. Blur and set powder foundation, that's what it's called. I know what's going on. And then after that, I went in with some blush. I used the party shade from Tarte and then I used some of the dandelion. Um, highlighter from Benefit and some of their Hula Bronzer to contour, which is an absolute classic and we love that. Then I went in with some of the Lash Craft from Sephora because Perry always has really big lashes. And then I also went in with some of the Bad Gal Bang to kind of lengthen them a little bit more. Um, I did my brow pencil, the e.l.f. pencil, and then I used the MAC gel again. And I couldn't find my Anastasia Beverly Hills stuff, so I just kind of left it. And then I used this peachy colored lipstick. Uh, because the picture that I was trying to copy, she had a very peachy look. I added some Adidas. I would add Supergas if I was authentic, but I broke my Adidas or my Supergas. So you know, we're rolling with it. Peace, love, etc. For the last look, I decided to do a Camila Cabello inspired look because her new album, not album, her new singles are great. But I did the makeup first for this, mixing it up. Did my gel base. Did my BB cream. And then my concealer and the powder foundation, you know, all the classics that I've done every day pretty much of this video because that is my basic like face routine, I guess, in terms of makeup. Again, I love this powder. I'm, I'm really, really endorsing it heavily. I went in with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and the Smoky Eye palette because the look that I was trying to recreate, she had this really cool brown smoky eye, so I was trying to recreate it. I don't know if I did a great job of it. Um, I wasn't super confident in it, honestly, while I was doing it, which is why it took so long. This is sped up eight times and it's still is taking me forever, but I used just a bunch of the colors in the palette and tried to like blend them together and make it look nice. I do think it ended up being pretty cute, but definitely not my, my best makeup that I've ever done, not gonna lie. And I went in with my BFF liner from ColourPop and just did like a really thin line of that black. Then went in with the Lash Craft to give like some good voluminous lashes. We love that for me. And then again, the Bad Gal Bang to like lengthen it a little bit. Went in with my e.l.f. brow pencil and just shaped my brows a tiny bit. And then of course my MAC um, brow gel. Shaped them a little bit more. I did little tiny dashes of this Benefit tint. Um, and then my favorite highlighter, the Urban Decay Sin, so good. And then just a quick contour with Hoola, and I added this Powder Kiss um, from MAC, and I blotted it to give a more natural look. Um, I just used toilet paper for this. You can find that at any drugstore. <laughs> and yeah, so uh, my girlfriend made me keep this weird clip of me dancing in, so blame Jess for this. Um, so then I paired this really cute skirt with this 
top from Free People. The skirt is from Express. I got it on Black Friday last year. And then I added this handkerchief, which I ended up taking off because I thought it looked bad, but in retrospect, it looked really cute and I wish I had kept it on because low-key um, a look. Although I would have felt self-conscious like teaching in it because I like to keep my fashion kind of neutral when I teach. Um, but yeah, I really loved this look. Honestly, it was so fun. I haven't really worn a pencil skirt in like a while, so it was good to feel so cute. Then I threw on some Chanel before I left because Camila has mentioned using it before and I love that. I'm back. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is like a very much like a fashion video TM. So I really liked filming this. I really liked making this video and I hope that you enjoyed watching it. So thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I hope that you like this. All of the outfits and like makeup products I use, I will try to link below. Some of it I've had for a while or it's thrifted, so I don't know if it is even available, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next Thursday. Bye. I'm back so thank you guys so much for watching this video this is like a very much like a fashion video TM so I really liked filming this I really liked making this video and I hope that you enjoyed watching it thank you so much for watching all the way to the end I hope that you like this all of the outfits and like makeup products I use I will try to link below some of it I've had for a while or it's thrifted so I don't know if it is even available but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next thursday bye watch you drink your orange juice you're as good as super food